Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Marianne with Akashic Inspirations. And uh, today's reading is going to be, this reading is going to be for the week of February uh, 25th through the 28th. And um, I've decided to do Oracle and Tarot cards. So we were using um, the Sacred Geometry cards by Janosh, Divine Guidance cards by uh, Cheryl Lee Harnish, and the Syrian Star Sea Tarot. Because I feel like there's really some very strong energies coming into play, um, really pushing us into this fifth dimensional energy of love and being able through gratitude, appreciation, love, uh, to manifest, to work in the quantum level. Um, the quantum level is not linear time. There is something called circular time that I really had an aha moment today as I was reading a book called The God Academy by AC Powers. And it's really a fantastic book. I highly recommend it. I'll, I'll probably be putting it later on on my book nook section of my website. And we're really working in these uh, energies of love to create, manifest uh, miracles in our life, healing uh, on a, an emotional, physical, and spiritual level, and therefore allowing your true heart's desire to come into play. Um, the, the messages that I received, if you'll read my blog for today, you'll see how we're encouraged to think big by Joel Olstein and our 31 day of promises which we're already on day 28 which is amazing so thank you for those who have been following me and um, being with me on this journey as we go uh, across the getting to the end of the 31 day process I'll just read quickly the declaration for today and it says I declare that I will ask God for big things in my life I will pray bold prayers and expect big and believe big. I will ask God to bring to pass those hidden dreams that are deep in my heart. If certain promises don't look like they will happen, I will not be intimidated and give up. I will pray with boldness, expecting God to show himself strong, knowing that nothing is too difficult for him. This is my declaration. So this really ties in with how we can truly, really must have faith, must work in the energy of love, must be grateful for all things, not only that what has already manifested in our life, but knowing that things will be manifest in our life. So I'm going to start today with the cards from Janosh and um, to see what will be the uh, overall theme for this week. Let's see. Let me just pick one or if one will fall out. Cards. Yeah, and I got two here. Let's see what we've got. This um, beautiful, really open energies. It looks like it's just you've got the electricity starting here. Um, it's completely centered and balanced, and everything starting from the center. It looks like it could be working both ways, coming in and going out to having that eternal flow. Ah, this is the card of openness. So what are, are we opening ourselves to? To this energy of love, to allowing transformation to come into our life, to really uh, believing that all can be made manifest for us, and to understand that it works <clears throat> in a manner in which by opening ourselves, we also receive. So there is a flow of going in and coming out, which is a, a beautiful, a beautiful message to take with us for the week. Let me put that over here. So we have that. And then I will go to our divine guidance cards and see what spiritual energies are at work and our angels, how they're guiding us to receive the messages. Okay, this is the number 23 card. All right, beautiful sacral 
sacral uh, chakra energies that uh, passion, intimacy, uh, flowering of love, um, representing, uh, it's really nice because, I mean, it's the whole card is just spiral energies. And when she talks about spiral energies, it's going out in all directions. So it looks like a, a fully bloomed rose, um, you know, from the center out. And it really is a complete opening to uh, a coming together in relationships, um, asking us to focus on our passion, our love, our love and intimacy in romance, and to be uh, vulnerable to your partner, to really show that partner who you truly, truly are, and allowing that love to blossom in your life. So by opening, we receive this beautiful message of love and romance and intimacy. Um, like I said, I, I know that these energies are really, uh, really potent. And I, that's exactly why I brought back my, my love candle, because I really feel these energies. And these energies of love, now being used in the full moon, will allow us to create... Okay. All right. So we've got our three cards here for the week. And at the beginning of the week, Monday, we're looking at the seven of orbs, which in the, the regular tarot, uh, the orbs are the um, pentacles or the coins. And it's about the earth element. And here you see this beautiful, hot, colorful, hot air balloon that... Oh, you know what? I think I've made a mistake. Hold on. Give me a second. The orbs... Sorry, the orbs are the swords. I'm so sorry. I was uh, thinking of something else and, and, <laughs> and it came into mind. These are the seven of swords. But I, I love the, the imagery in this. He's got... His balloon basket is full. He's got two that are kind of escaping away and trying to hang on to one. And one is kind of like trying to trail and catch up with him. And he's kind of teetering outside of this balloon, trying to grab everything. And we really have to understand that if we hold on to things, that by holding on, that doesn't mean that they're going to stay. Um, by being greedy, by trying to be uh, um, everything for me, that that is no longer working. So in the energies of love, that is not possible. It must be about giving and sacrifice and understanding that we are one with everything else and that we don't have to be um, um, grasping at things because things that are ours will automatically come to us. And um, to not, to how can you be more of community, be more of service, be more of the global. So kind of important message here. We'll put that here so you can see. And through the Tuesday and Wednesday of the week, we have what is called the Karma card. This is number 20, but here we have a beautifully full-blossomed lotus and the drop of water, how it creates the ripple effect and touching everything. And this is the number 20. So this is the judgment card uh, in the regular tarot. And in, in this card, it's like, what is coming around? What karmic events are coming to pass again in your life so that uh, you're taking these steps up in the spiral ladder? And these events will come back. We're in Mercury retrograde. So what things are coming back for you to be able to deal with in a new and different manner. It's going to allow you to assess this process of holding on to things so tight and allowing them to let go and allowing this experience to, to teach us the life lessons that it needs and be able to move on into our ascension process and to understand that, um, that as the waters, which are of course our emotions and our soul, um, that we really have learned to view this through the fifth dimensional energies of love and being allowed to move on into a new 
rebirthing dimensionality. We're getting close. We're in the 20th of the major arcana. So we're getting close to reaching that point of the world view and of having everything within us. And here, the last card that we pulled, which will be for uh, Wednesday and Thursday, is the Six of Chalices. And I love this because you have like two little um, angels, two children angels hugging and loving each other and being fully surrounded by all of their blessings, by all of the abundance and love that is for them. And the universe is showering them with crystal light and illuminescence. Let me put that here so I can pull it out because really uh, Patricia Corey has a, has really come up with a beautiful set of of cards and her her um, uh, meanings are, are quite um, eloquent and she says that as we remember the innocence of of our um, of our inner child and it's asking us to celebrate that to celebrate that surrender when you were innocent you were in total um, belief and trust in those around you to take care of you to love you to guide you and that is what we're being asked to do to really love and and trust in the divine and that his plan and that his order um, is going to be in harmony with us and that we are sharing that path with others in our lives that um, can bring about um, the beauty and the manifestation that we desire. Ah, so um, I'm so looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, as you know, we'll be having a Google Live event with Glammy Witch on her channel, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be working with deep healing of physical, emotional, spiritual energies with Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Um, uh, Glammy is going to be doing a special candle ceremony for each person who participates. You can go ahead if you'd like to have a candle set for intentions for yourself or so for healing of someone else. Um, you can donate on my website to the special announcements page. We are asking for a minimum of 1111, but you can certainly donate more if that is so uh, to your choice and desire. But I, I would love for you, um, if you are unable to do that, to just join us because you will be able to hear these beautiful messages that Glammy has channeled and the messages that will be coming out from the Akashic Records for everyone and who would uh, come and just you want to release and let go of these these issues that no longer serve the dis-ease that you are feeling, whether emotionally, spiritually, or physically. So I send you many blessings for this week. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. And I send you much love and light. Namaste.